Hello Shopify store owners how you guys are doing today hope you guys are doing great and selling a lot of stuff via your Shopify stores once again welcome back to another video but i'm going to show you guys how you can upload bulk product images via the Shopify so if you have a lot of products and obviously a lot of images you might be finding it difficult to manually match the images or manually upload the images one by one to all of the products if you have like hundreds of products or thousands of products but in this video i'm going to solve this problem for you so you'll be able to bulk upload all of the product images in just a minute yes you heard it right and we will be doing that using a cool app which i'm going to show you guys today which is cs smart bulk image upload built for shopify meets Shopify highest quality standards for speed, ease of use and merchant value. So you should definitely try that out because you might be wasting a lot of time matching the images, uploading the images. You don't need to do that. You need to focus on marketing, ROS. I mean, focusing on optimizing conversion rate, not the manual matching of the images, right? The app can do that for you in just a minute. And let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, link in the description you can find and install the app. And once you install the app, you will have it looking like this, right? And here's the Google Drive folder, which I have where I have multiple images. And on my development store, I have these two products where I'm going to bulk upload the images. I'm just showing you as an example for two products. You can do that for thousands of products, right? So let's start doing that. First, what I want to do is click on create new upload. As you can see on my screen, I already have done some batch uploading for the testing purposes and it worked awesome. And in order to do that for yourself, you can just click on create new upload. And here you can connect it with the Google Drive, right? And in my Google Drive is already connected. So if you want to connect a different Google Drive, simply uh, click on this create new upload and it will ask you for the Google Drive or you can simply disconnect and change the Google Drive account if you want to. And folder name which I have where I have all of the images is called smart image upload product where I have 31 different images, right? And here I am going to select the match type that how I want to match the product images with the products itself, right? So I am going to select match if image contains SQ, meaning it will read the file name and match the image which is containing the SKU. You can do that by exact match, but it's better to use if image contains. There are other conditions as well. You can match it by barcode. You can match it by exact product title. You can match it by if image contains product title. You can also match it by meta field and you can additionally contact support and add more matching types if you want to. Support is really helpful. Here you can see the chat. You can simply click on it and contact the developer and they will be able to help you add more functionality if you want. Really cool, right? So let's go with the match if image contains a SKU. And I'm going to scroll down to see the image replacement options here. I don't want to replace existing images because I don't have any images. If I already have images on the product, I can also select replace existing images. So select on don't replace existing images and then click on start matching. Now let me show you the product first because before clicking the start matching. So here's my product. Let's open that in a new tab and this one as well. So these, this is my product without the image and this one, and I am going to add images using this app, right? Now let's click on start matching to see the magic happen. And you can see it took just a second to match the images by SKU. And here are 13 matched images where I have this SKU matching with this image. KD dash cycle. So it's basically matching this KD dash cycle SQ with the file name where I have renamed it with KD underscore cycle. Similarly, 
we can also do we can also match it by exact variant so on this coda bike products i only have one variant i don't have multiple variant but on this product here i have different colors like uh green gray blue light blue and i am doing that with the sku so you can see that for the black one i have pds dash one as sku right and for the green you can see i have this sku pds dash three similarly for the blue version i have this pds dash four so you get the point right and on top of that you can also manually match the variant so if you have I, as you can see i have these other images i can simply click on match manually and then select that specific variant where i want to match this image to so you can simply click on match manually on all of that and you can match the image by variant it is really hard to manually open the product then add the images and stuff like that right and one thing i'm going to show you as well that once the images are uploaded it's also positioning them so if i have underscore one it is going to position them as first media image if i have this underscore two it is going to position them as two you can see the position column here as well so if it checks the file name has underscore two it is going to add it to position two if it has underscore three it is going to position it as three right so whatever number you will add after underscore it is going to match the position of that image as well perfect now click on start upload here you can see that it is uploading images and matching it as well so you don't have to manually do that it is going to just do it on its own here we go our job execution is completed now while this job execution is running you can simply close the app and do whatever other work you want to do and you will get the notification via email so if i go to my email i'll have the email about the job is completed so you can see that here it is here i have this email and the total saved time meaning if we would be doing that manually it would take that much time so if you have like hundreds of images it is going to save you a lot of time right now uh the app job run is completed now let's refresh the product here and here you can see images are being uploaded and it is also matched with the color as well right let's check out the other product hit refresh here we have all of the images which was for the cycle product been updated all right so that's how easy it is to bulk upload all of your product images in the shopify store let me know in the comments below if you have any question for the matching types or anything else or you can also contact the app support that's it for the video until next video have a great day